Good morning. Today is June 3rd. It's 10:28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I received a word from the Lord. When I say the Lord, I am referring to Yahweh, Je Yeshua, Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus Christ. That's the Lord I'm referring to. I received this word from the Lord yesterday, June 2nd at 4.02 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, he wants this titled, Correction is Coming to My House. Before I go any further, we are to test the Spirit. The only way that we can test the Spirit is by the Holy Spirit. It can be done uh, one of several ways. You can ask the Holy Spirit directly. Holy Spirit, is this word coming from you? Is this word coming from my Father in heaven? And if it is, what what do I need to take away from this word? You can also get in the word of God. Jesus Christ is the living and active word of God. So when you open up your Bible, you can ask the Lord, speak for your servant hears. I do not want to be deceived or led astray. There is too many doctrines of demons and devils out here today. The deception is thick. Please, Lord, let me know. Is this coming from you or another source? That being said, and this is what the Lord said. Strike the shepherd and scatter the flock. Are they learning your ways or mine? Are you exhibiting the characteristics of what you preach? It's so easy telling everyone else how they should live. But what about you? Are you practicing what you preach? If love covers all offenses, and you are commanded to forgive. Why has offense made a home in your heart? You knew you were offended when it happened, so why haven't you confessed it to me? Many of you have become so prideful and so sure of your discernment that you have become a tool for Satan to plant seeds of doubt and discouragement. Where in my word does it say that someone needs to get right with me? Were you in right standing when you made that first attempt to seek me out? Whose righteousness do you now have? Yours or mine? Have you reached such a standard of righteousness on your own that you no longer need my deliverance? Why act as though you have attained a certain level of righteousness that others have yet to attain? Is not your righteousness filthy rags? Who are you to look down on another? You have been commissioned, chosen, and called to preach the gospel. The gospel is salvation by grace through faith, not your works. If anyone boasts, let him boast in the Lord. If my kindness draws people to repentance, why are you preaching? condemnation and self-righteous judgment I said to judge righteously amongst the brethren in order to do that you need discernment discernment isn't governed by your feelings distrust and suspicion discernment comes from me it is something you should pray for as it's going to be necessary in the days ahead and without it you could be led astray this will be a time of correction, a time of rebuke, a time of chastisement, a time of redirecting, rerouting, and relocating. This will be a time of purging and refining, a time of shaking and sifting, a time of separating and dividing, a time of exposure and revelation. There is a time for everything. My church will know humility. My church will know when I speak. My church will not quench my spirit or shun my word when it comes. My church will accept and appreciate an honest rebuke done in love. My church will not compromise with the ways of the wicked. My church will die to their love for the world. My church will seek my will above all else. My church will walk in integrity. My church will heed my counsel. 
My church will feed my sheep, not puff them up with knowledge. My church will walk by faith and not by sight. My church will do unto others as they would want done unto them. My church will not be idle with their words. They will not be talebearers and gossips. They will pray for their enemies and bless those who curse them. My church will be led by my spirit, not enticed by their own hearts. My church will endure to the end, having done all to stand. The rest of you will be sifted like wheat and blown away like chaff in the wind. Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. Uh, the following Bible confirmations, excuse me, that I received at the end of this word are Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, Ephesians 4, 1 to 6, Ephesians 5, 25 to 27, Second Thessalonians 3, 1, 1 Thessalonians 5, 14, 22, Colossians 2, verses 6 to 8, Ephesians 4, 29 to 32, Malachi 3, 13 to 14, Malachi 3, 2 to 3, Jeremiah 32, 19, Jeremiah 23, verse 6, just this part. Now this is his name by which he will be called, the Lord, our righteousness. Joshua 24, 15. Isaiah 61, 10 to 11. Isaiah 31. Isaiah 22, 19.